uh, 90 inches. And you can see um, that the uh, the window now is placed. Now the only thing I'm going to do is change this height from 36 to let's try um, let's try eight inches. All right, looks pretty good. Um, and again, just like the uh, the door before. Um, I can click the more and I get a lot of other um, options, frame thickness, uh, it's preset to, to one inch but I can change that, um, I can change that value. Uh, there's all kinds of different options here um, and just like the door before I can change the open ratio to open up the door open up the window I should say and uh, if I wanted to, to show it partially open there. Um, then I click OK. And so we now we have some some doors and a window placed in our walls. So the next thing I want to do is create uh, a schedule from the doors. I save that. Now the schedule um, requires one thing before <clears throat> before we create it. Uh, doors uh, come with several attributes. Now we haven't really gotten into attributes, um, but basically attributes are kind of like metadata um, that are attributed to different elements of a model. Um, it's not it's not something geometric. It's not going to show up in your model, um, but it's data that you can pull that's associated with a, with a model. It's kind of, it's the I uh, in BIM, it's the information, right, in the billing information model. So um, in order to see what attributes uh, are currently applied to this door, I'm just going to highlight the door here. I'm going to right click, say center graph. And you can see that if, um, if I scroll down, um, I can see that everything is basically contained inside of, it might be a little easier to see if I pull out here. So everything is contained within this door object. And the door is actually placed within the wall. So everything that's placed in, in, this, in this wall, including the two doors and the window, all preside within this wall element in the tree. So I have door one, I have door two, you can see it highlighted over there, and I have my window one. So um, if I wanted to um, if I wanted to see what, what attributes uh, are currently applied to this, I can see under ISC single swing, this is this contains a lot of our parameters and our construction geometry. Um, it also has two attribute packages here. One is IFC door common properties, and one is IFC standard door fill. And actually, this contains a lot of information about the dimensions of the door, and, um, the width, the height, um, the thickness. We want to add one more attribute to this door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this I this um, uh, geometric set, IFC single swing lining glass. And when I go up here, uh, you should see uh, this this window which which is called project attributes uh, on your upper upper left um, the this tool set here. And I'm going to switch. Um, I'm going to take down the f pull down the first menu and go to doors and windows. And then I'm going to go over to the second uh, pull-down menu and go to door schedule data. And now that I, I have this selected and these set, I'm going to click the, the add this attach package button. And it's going to, if I wanted to, I can set some of these values now, the type, the, uh, the number, 
let's um, let's say I, I call that 100A. I don't have to set these if I don't want to right now. Um, I can I can just keep it as is for now. So um, I click OK, and now you can see that attribute package added to um, to the door down here. I'm going to do the same thing for the other door and expand this door opening too. I see single swing lining glass. You can see there's a there's two attributes currently there. I'm going to select that and do attach package, and I'll call this 100 B. So now that we have this, uh, this door schedule data applied to the model, now we can create the door schedule. So the first thing um, I want to do is click the interactive door schedule button, which uh, there's a collection of buttons here. Um, the first one says Excel data sheet, but you want to click the interactive door schedules. And basically it's going to look through the whole model for anything that has a door schedule data attribute package attached to it. And it gives you a couple options here. Um, the first option is AIA door schedule. The, section, the, section, the second option is uh, detail, detail door schedule. So in this case, I'm going to pick the AIA door schedule. The, uh, this may take just a little bit of time because basically it's having to open up Excel and communicate between digital project and Excel. You can see right away it places um, the two doors I created. And I can see um, their width and their height and their thickness. So, um, if I wanted to, um, I could change, let's say that, you know, that I have a bunch of doors and I wanted to change um, their designation. Um, I could very easily um, edit the Excel here and then go back to my model view and go up to my tree and you'll find an Excel data sheets right under here. So I'm going to I'm going to expand that, and I'm going to double click on the AIA door schedule. And it's going to give me the option to, to edit. And if I look down at the bottom there, it says synchronize. So um, I want to uh, synchronize the, uh, the value that I just changed in the Excel document um, and update it in the model. So you can see that there's, there's basically a back and forth that happens between the model and the schedule. I hit synchronize, it runs through, I click OK. And now if I, if I go back to this door, my center graph, and I locate my, my door schedule data, I'll see that now it's called 100C. So it just went through and changed uh, whatever information. Now this is information that has no geometric consequence, but um, uh, there are also uh, there are also values uh, that we can pull into Excel and change their change their values, and then it'll change parameters in the model and cause the geometry to change. So if I go back to the Excel. Now let's say I want to change um, door 100C and I want to make it, I'm going to change that back to a 6 foot 8 inch door, so 80 inches. So I just change the value in the Excel here. I go back up 
to Maxell Datasheet.